Well, we've always known that Humble ISD is a great district. We think so. But now in Texas, the district is one of five statewide that is up for the HEB Excellence in Education Award, which is huge for our district. Not only is it monetarily advantageous, but it lets everybody else know about the wonderful programs that we have here in Humble ISD and how special we really are. So we are joined today by some very special people. Trey Kramer, who is our assistant superintendent for high schools. It's hard for me to get away from you being a high school principal to an assistant superintendent, but we're glad you're here. It's good to he's be. not going back. No, he's not going back. Not I know you back. love having him uh, at your right hand. We're also joined by Linda Taylor, who is a parent uh, at Summer Creek High School and the head of the Summer Creek High School student body, Kristen Barnes. So welcome to all of you. We're glad you're here. Thank and you. all of you are going to tell us a little bit about why Humble ISD is so great, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Trey, we'll start with you. Tell us about the award and what the criteria is. Well, first of all, it's, it's an honor. I mean, when you, when you talk HEB and you talk education, it's, it's, uh, it's excellence. Um, and so to, to be even uh, considered uh, for the award, but then to be one of the five schools that were selected to be a finalist, uh, I think it's, just, it's a statement of where we are in Humble ISD right now. Uh, the experience itself was outstanding. The, uh, the judges that came down to, uh, for our visit, uh, an incredible talented group of educators, 30, 40 plus years, been in elementaries, middle and high schools all over the state, uh, experiences all the way from superintendent, uh, college, every level, uh, and to bring uh, those quality of judges into our schools and to see their responses to the things that we were doing in Humble ISD, uh, it was, it was a very rewarding experience for me, having just left the campus, but also now at a district level looking at it and, and truly acknowledging that what we are doing in Humble ISD is some of the best stuff in Texas. Mm -hmm. That's great. Well, and Trey was very instrumental in, in preparing for the HEB judges um, to come and, and visit. Uh, they were very specific. They wanted to see a couple of our secondary schools, Correct. and so we did get to select Summer Creek High School as mm -hmm. the place. I don't know if that was good news or bad news for you guys, <laughs> but, <news>. but <laughs> good. But um, Linda and Kristen were kind enough to agree to have lunch uh, at Summer Creek with the panel of judges. And, mm -hmm. and it really wasn't lunch so much as it was, uh, they had the opportunity to just question you guys. Uh, <laughs> as I, I wasn't there, so I, but I understand it was, it was kind of lengthy. And, and, and Linda, tell, tell, share with everybody, how, how was that experience? And what were the kinds of things they asked you? Mm -hmm. Well, I'll tell you, it was, um, I was honored, and I'm sure Kristen would agree, mm -hmm. we were very honored to have been selected to represent the district uh, for such a potentially a prestigious award. Um, the judges, as Mr. Kramer just mentioned, they are very experienced and Essentially what they were looking for in the, with this award was they were looking for school district whose leadership and dedication to excellence inspires the best in students, inspires students to want to learn. So our main purpose, our primary purpose uh, as we met with the judges was to discuss and just share uh, in all honesty and through all transparency exactly how Humble ISD is accomplishing just that. And I'm pretty confident we were able to do that. Awesome. Well, thank you. And Kristen, how about, how about your take on that experience? Well, it was an honor, just like Miss Linda said. Um, whenever I was asked to do it, I was like, are you sure? In my head, I'm thinking, are you sure? But um, it was a great experience. At first, I was a little nervous because there were all these important people, and they were asking all these questions about budgets and things I had no idea about. But once they started asking about how Humble ISD is different from other schools and what makes it unique and what I love about it, that's when I was really able to share with them everything that I love about my school and everything mm -hmm. that I've experienced and how it's changed me and how it's impacted those around me also. It was amazing, an amazing, an amazing experience. Oh, great. It's always nice to brag on your school, oh, especially yeah. when you have a, a great <laughs> district surrounding yes. you. And Trey, this came with a monetary yes. reward as a finalist, and Correct. then what happens? Well, um, we, uh, the district received five thousand uh, dollars just for being named one of the five finalists, and then uh, in, in, in HEB grand style in, in May, May the third, they actually bring all uh, of the, the school finalists. 
Dr. Gonzo has, I think, the ability to bring eight to ten people with him. And it's like it's like the Academy Awards, or it's like the Super Bowl. <laughs> you actually go to Austin, and they literally name the finalist on the spot. And so uh, we're going to be excited again to get a, a team of t uh, folks to go to, to Austin. Uh, and really, whether we win the 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 the, the the top prize or not, the fact that uh, we're there, uh, the fact that we were able to showcase what we're doing in Umbel ISD, the fact that uh, they got to see who we are, uh, I think is a, will be a testimony to itself. And I, I believe it will allow us as we move forward, whether we uh, we believe we should win. We believe we were uh, the best, and you know, I would be disappointed if, if we don't. But the reality is, um, I think it gives us a better shot if we move forward down the road. I think this is the type of a of a uh, an award that, as a school district, you strive for excellence. And so, if we don't uh, win it this year, I would think it would it would be something we would want to strive for again, uh, because. I think at the end of the day, when you think of HEB and you think of their ed, their their ed, you know their excellence in education, it's who we are in Humble, and mm -hmm. we want to mirror that. Mm -hmm. Now, Kristen, you're a senior. Yes. So, talk to us a little bit because I'm curious. Mm -hmm. what, what what does next year hold for Kristen, and beyond next year, what are, what are you seeing for for you? Oh, well, I've applied. I kind of went overboard. I applied to about 15 colleges. Whoa. Yes, and I've heard back from about six, and um, I'm going to hear about from the rest this month. And um, but my dream is to go to Baylor, which I've already been accepted to. Awesome. Go to Baylor and pursue medicine and study biochemistry, and wow. eventually go on to Baylor College of Medicine or UT College of Medicine, and uh, be, to become a neonatologist. Wow, oh, that is so Take awesome. care of newborn babies. Yeah, that's so wonderful. Awesome. Yeah. Baylor's a great school. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I it love is. it. I love Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Well, and it's so nice that our schools are preparing students like Kristen mm -hmm. for success in college because okay. that's one of the things that a lot of the colleges notice is that Humble ISD students tend to do well because they've been prepared through rigorous right. programs here. Yes. So mm -hmm. I know you'll do very well. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, go ahead. Uh, no, I was just going to say, and, and, and Linda, I want you to know, and Kristen, this applies to you too. Um, as I said a moment ago, when, when we were contacted by HEB as a finalist, um, they were very specific about uh, judges visiting, and they wanted to see two of our secondary schools. Um, so, but we got to pick which schools, and decided very quickly and easily that Summer Creek was the place we wanted to be, mm -hmm. and I wanted them to see. Um, and um, then they were specific about well, but we want to meet with a parent, a parent, and a student. And I just want the two of you to know that that. When I presented that to the staff, um, a voice that you're pretty familiar with <laughs> quickly spoke up and said, I've got the parent, I've got the student, and your, guys, uh, your names were mentioned. So I, I want you to be aware of that because both of you are, are for good reason, thought very, very highly of. Thank you. Um, and Lindy, really, you represented all of the parents mm -hmm. in Umbel ISD, which is a little awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and it was, it was very awesome. It was awesome indeed. Awesome. We're blessed to have parents like you in our district that the volunteer in our schools and support them and also make sure our programs are meeting the needs of your mm -hmm. students, your children. So we thank so you nice. all, and they're wrapping us up. We wish you all the best. We thank know Umbel ISD is the best, so we just, the, the, we're confident the <laughs> will know the same. Don't go away. We'll be right back.